I was having breakfast that morning with the Deputy Prime Minister of Belgium. And my chief of staff came in and said, may I see you? And he said there was an American Airlines that went into the World Trade Center. Started looking at the television set. As I'm standing there, all of a sudden across the screen goes this gray object and it disappears and then from the left-hand side of the screen this yellow, white, orangey, billowy cloud. So by the time I got back into the office, someone had called from the White House and said, get over here right away. And people were running out of the old executive office building. They're running out of the White House. The guard said, uh, Mr. Clark is waiting for you in the Situation Room. And then he said, you've got to be in the PIOC. And I said, the PIOC? What's the PIOC? So that's the Presidential Emergency Operations Center. And it's that bunker way under the White House. And then about that time, someone broke into the phone line and said, Mr. Secretary, we just got a call from a Arlington County police officer who saw an American Airlines go into the Pentagon. Hey, that's the third commercial airliner in the last hour and a half that's been used as a missile. And we don't know what's going on. The military has something called a stand down, where they bring everything to a screeching halt and they try to extract one element at a time to try to figure out what's going on. So I said, we gotta bring all the planes down. Now we had over the United States at that point, 6,438 airplanes over the skies in the US. And that coordination between air traffic controllers and the pilots and the flight attendants getting passengers ready to land at an airport that they didn't intend to be at. And so they had a lot of preparation to do. And so as it turned out, in two hours and 20 minutes, we had all those 6,438 airplanes down on the ground without incident. But you had to make these decisions so quickly. But at the time, we just knew we had to do something.